from going to the outside, because if you do, you win. That is the idea. But still, there will be no referees inside the steel cage. No pinfalls, no nothing. We're just looking for escape only. And whoever does that is walking away with all the gold. And all the bragging rights as well. And here comes the guy who's entering his second home. And their opponent from Springfield. He's the ASF YouTube champion, Bart Simpson. I don't think the, uh, the the arena is big enough, let alone the cage, for these three to be fighting in. But uh, they're going to have to try and organize something. It is going to be very claustrophobic, you're right. We've usually had tag team matches or 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 one on ones, but this is a triple threat. Everyone for themselves, uh, and they're just going to be uh, beating on each other inside the steel cage. And it's all for that, folks. The YouTube Championship. And it's all to play for here in this one, in our main event here at No Way Out. And Bart definitely looks ready. He knows he's coming into this so confident. He's having a laugh in this one. This is going to be an easy retain. And here we go. The three combatants kicking things off. There you see the cage walls surrounding the ring. The only way to escape is to go over the top of those. By any means necessary. Preferably by climbing. Yeah, well, I mean, you've got to incapacitate your opponent to the degree. And look at them, they're both picking on Link at the moment here. But uh, I can see Tails trying to narrow his uh, vision here. He's got tunnel vision for Link, that's for sure. But uh, the equation we're looking for here is Bart, who's definitely the favorite when it comes to a steel cage match. And if Tails is going to be too focused on Link and vice versa, then this is going to be a walk in the park for him. Like I said, an easy retain. That's why I'm picking him. Bard is my pick for this one. You don't like to swing the way of the fans, do you? No, I don't. I'm very different from that. I'm supposed to be anyway. You know that. We have to point it out. <laughs> Look at this suplex by Bart and Link crashes down on the canvas. And uh, whoever thought we'd see Link in the main event? Not me. In the humble days of being on Raw defending the Intercontinental title, he's certainly been built up to be a big player here in the ASF on Smashdown. And he's been dominating the main event scene for quite some time, especially when Tails gets involved. He's been a thorn in Tails' side for quite some time. I'll give him that. But when he can he walk away with all the gold here tonight? As Bart delivers a huge clothesline there, and Link, oh! Tails have got reversed there and got landed on top of, but no pinfalls here. And oddly enough, there is a referee in there. Oh well, there's still no rules. He's just in there for looks. Stupid game. Um, <laughs> Look out. Oh, big shot there by Link. This is going to be really difficult for these three, because... If you think about it, that wall is pretty tall. I mean, what is it, 15 foot, 16 foot? Yeah, about 15 feet. And you've got to incapacitate. Usually in a cage match, you're just going to incapacitate. You're facing one person. You've got to incapacitate him so you can climb up that wall. And that's no easy feat in itself. Just trying to scale that thing is hard enough on your own, let alone when two people are trying to beat you up. So you've got to try and ground two people in the ring. Because you do not want to get caught at the top of that cage when you're when you're at the top. If you get to the top, hell, you don't even want to be caught on it when you're climbing up halfway up there. It's pretty tall compared to these guys. Yes, like I said, it is 15 foot. That's one hell of a climb. Especially if you just fought a match. Like I said, it's hard enough to, to navigate just by not having a fight. Wait a minute, look at this. Oh! That sweet ocarina music failed on the first attempt and Bart going for a Stimson stunner but it failed and now and Tails is just watching the action here or maybe not he just wanted to I thought he wanted to let that uh, ocarina music fly but like I said that tunnel vision even though he seems to be focused more on Bart going to the middle rope here and a belly to belly off the top there great impressive move there by Tails but the YouTube champion is back on his feet and oh look at this trying to use the distraction he knows that Tails has tunnel vision and now Tails is trying to climb out now look at this Ooh. as you can see that was one hell of a climb there was a distance quite a distance between Bart and Tails 
when they made him fall off the, the wall there. And that's all they have to do really, they just have to ram into it and it will shake that cage so much that they'll fall from that height and then flat on their back and that's not going to do you good in the long run. That's going to take away your backbone and you know what happens when you take away a backbone from anything? Yeah, it's got no willpower or well, it's got no it's got no structure to itself. Well this cage doesn't need any backbone. It's a cold heartless being in itself. It just loves encasement, and is this ever encasement? The definition of encasement is this match right here. And, oh, Bart tried to go for a suplex, Link dunked from behind, and look at this! Oh, man! And Link got in a shot there, that super kick. And now Bart's feeling the effects of that, and Tails might be too now. He's stumbling, staggering, and... Oh, no! Oh! He got him anyway, on that kickback. And look at this, Link is in control, inside the steel cage, but submissions do not apply, but I guess you can weaken up those legs. The idea or strategy here would be to go for the arms and legs, because you, you're you going to have to use them to climb, and we were saying it's hard enough to climb anyway, but if you take away the arms and legs, oh wait a minute, Tails is going back up, and Bart, oh, pulls him back down, giving chase there doesn't want to use his YouTube title anytime soon and won't in my view and Tails whoa missed with a drop kick ever into the corner now and Bart uh oh now he's gonna get some revenge from earlier look going for the top and way bang huge massive suplex from the top that was right from the top there Tails' his feet were almost as high as the keys there on that one and Bart tried to climb out again, not successful this time because Link rammed into the wall from the other side see that's what I mean, it's going to be really hard to try and pin down your two, both of your opponents so wait a minute, Bart's climbing out here and ooh, was he ever close there using that willpower he's got of his, that confidence level because he's probably got the most confidence coming into this because these two have never hardly been in a cage Bart is the cage master. He's had more cage matches than these guys have had hot dinners. Well, I think that's over that, that's over exaggerating, but yeah, I get what you mean. <laughs> I love over exaggerating. It makes it much more epic, you know. So stop ruining it. Okay, I'll I'll shut up. <laughs> Just call the match. How about that? Okay then. Uh, <laughs> that was in. Oh, uh, Barton. That has got sandwiched in the corner there. Not the place to be in a cage. And uh, oh no. Uh oh. Bart stumbled and staggered and Link is charging up for a big kick. Jeez, that got him right in the forehead there. Link has busted, has a, a good history of uh, making these two bleed in the past. He's busted both of his opponents open uh, for here tonight. Could he do it again here tonight? He certainly can with that kick. He's got to escape. I think what's more important is escaping the cage rather than he's let Link has left his mark on these two combatants. So all he needs to do now is is put the final nail in the coffin and win and walk away here tonight with the YouTube title. That's all he needs to do. That's his strategy for tonight. As for Tails, I don't know what his strategy is. He's just a wild thinker. And as for Bart, he's just having a good time. Isn't, like I said, easy defense. And that's what he's probably thinking too. Well, probably not right now, as Link rolls around into a hammerlock. Tails finds himself into the corner a bit lying abundant. And, oh man. Whenever I, whenever Link seems to pull off a maneuver, it just seems that Tails wants to interrupt it. He doesn't want Link gaining any momentum in this match. That's a smart strategy, but then again, having said that, it does give the other person that he was picking on, this being Bart, the advantage. Like he didn't have the advantage enough in this steel cage. Link missed with that forearm shot, but wait a minute. Oh man, what a bulldog. Hell's crashing down on his face. And whoa, neck breaker from Bart. And yeah, he's showing off while Tails is dazed and confused, but that's not the best idea. Oh, look up. Tails was going for that German suplex from behind. That sudden impulse, and now Tails seems to be in control here. Sam throwing them each uh, to a turnbuckle. Someone needs to exclaim, uh, needs to make their, their dominance uh, 